Hi, this is Amy with Amy Astro with a quick video. If you leave me comments or ask me questions, you too could have a video personalized just for you. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and share with your friends, and follow me on Facebook as Amy Astro. And this is where I'll tell you all about my astro adventures. I had someone on Facebook ask me a question and I thought it would be quicker and easier if I just showed a little video on what I do. And the question was, when I'm done with a project, which files do I save and which ones do I discard? So let's take a look at this file structure here that's of the Elephant Truck Nebula that we had been working with lately. And if I was done with this project, I would typically go through and I would keep the master flats that I created, but I would get rid of the flat files that I actually took and the calibration files. So the only thing that would be left were my processed images under the flats. I would keep my master dark and my super bias, but I would not keep the dark frames if I had to take them for this image and I would not keep my bias frames. And that will clean up the calibration directory a little bit better. So you would keep your masters, nothing else. Now when it comes to the light frames, I'm a little pickier on these. I always keep the raw images that I took because I never know when I'm going to learn a new process or step and I might want to rework them. So I keep my raw images. I will delete the calibrated images and the cosmetic corrected images, but I'll keep the approved images. And the reason I keep these approved images is if I come through a month ago, uh, you know, a month from now, and I decide to take more images of this target, all I have to do is process those new images to the approval stage and then put them in one folder all together in a pile and then continue editing and doing the registration, normalizing, and drizzle process. So this, keeping these approved files will save me a step. So in the end, I'll keep the raw images and I will keep the approved images. And I'll go ahead and I'll get rid of these registered because I won't be registering them again against a new set because I'll always re-register everything. And I also keep the master file that I created for each filter. Or if this was an RGB camera, then I would keep it. Because maybe I just want to do a fresh edit and I don't want to have to go through all of these steps again and I just want to start from my finished stacked image and I'll go through and I'll do that for each one of these folders so that's going to clear up at least 50% of your hard drive space for each project. Now when it comes down to the stacked images uh, it just depends on how big the files are and what I choose to keep. I might keep the first a linear version of the stack. I might keep my final pics and sight version of the stack or I might just purge all of it. It really just depends on how much I love it. And then the project data, that file can get kind of large. I go ahead and I keep, I throw out that project folder. So I hope this helps you some and uh, will help you maintain some of your hard drive space. Now I don't go and purge these and probably until several months after I'm finished with a project and it's mostly when my hard drive starts screaming and saying hey I'm full it's time to uh, do a purge so I hope this answers your question and I appreciate your watching my videos until next time clear skies